Dear students, good morning. Today we are going to uh, see the presentation of the Venkatram Learning Center, the central library of Sri Krishna College of Engineering and Technology. This central library, that is Venkatram Learning Center, is not only a library but a knowledge center. And on behalf of uh, the uh, central library, I welcome you all. Uh, to this presentation and i'm very happy in seeing you all through this presentation and uh, let us see uh, the aspects of uh, the library one by one and uh, you should know as to why a central library concept is very important for a higher education center like our uh, uh, institution is that every higher education institution uh, requires a knowledge center to support its stakeholders, that is the students and faculty members, to support their learning process, the organization or the parent body or the institution provides knowledge resources through the library system. So that is why a library is very important for an institution. And the motto of our library is read today and lead tomorrow. Of course, nowadays we can see that uh, due to the advent of the information and technology and the advent of uh, uh, the electronic gadgets, the reading habits are diminishing. Uh, little by little, the reading habits are getting <coughs> diminishing. So that is uh, not a good way for the development of a knowledge society. So the more we read, the more we lead. So for a perfect knowledge society, as a students, so you are going to be the stones of the knowledge society. You are going to be the pillars of that knowledge society. So in this direction, to make our entire country as a knowledge society and the fourth generation to become a knowledge society, it is very important that we should have the habit of reading. So that is why the reading gives the creative thought process. So due to this reading process only, we can build our constructive thinking process in a better way. So that is why we welcome again and again you to the central library in order to read the digital, print and visual resources. So visual resources can be seen, whereas the digital and print resources can be read. So in this direction, we fixed our goal, our motto as read today and read tomorrow. So with this motto, let us go inside the presentation. So our library timings are from Monday to Saturday. It is 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. On Sundays and holidays, it is 9.30 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. So in order to help uh, those uh, who stay in the hostels and in order to help those students who are dwelling in and around the campus, we just extend our library functioning on Sundays and holidays. So make use of the library. Uh, since the library opens before the college hours and closes after the college hours, it will be very easier for you to be there in the library for your uh, textbook reading, reference reading, group discussion, and for your uh, personal management uh, uh, preparations, your soft skills preparations, and for your uh, uh, academic preparations, and uh, uh, for your uh, placement preparations and for research and project works, you can make use of the library to the maximum possible extent. So this uh, slide discusses about uh, the collection, the quantum of the collection of the library. So we have about 80,059 uh, number of books available in our library. So it is strongly we are building the very, very quality book collection. And likewise, we have periodicals. Periodicals means journals and magazines are put together called as periodicals. So we have 456 periodicals. That is 324 journals and 132, 32 magazines. So in addition to these print journals and magazines, we have online journals, uh, say IEEE, that is Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASCE, American Society of Civil Engineers, and EBSCO, and DELNET. DELNET means Developing Library Network. 
So among which uh, IEEE, uh, the journals and technical magazines, uh, the students who belong to the circuit branches, that is computer science, information technology, electronics and communication engineering and electrical lab students, including mechatronic students, can access the IEEE contents. These are all the knowledge uh, think tanks in the world, the IEEEs. So likewise, ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineering Journals, uh, has to be utilized by the mechanical and mechatronic students. And for civil engineering students alone, we subscribe the ASCE journals, American Society of Civil Engineering Journals. And the EBSCO is exclusively for management students, and it is a database of uh, newsletters, journals, magazines, and the profit and loss account. And likewise, the company information and details are available in addition to the journals and magazines and newsletter in the EBSCO database. And there is a Delnet that is developing library network. So we are members in Delnet using which the rare, costlier, and out of print books which are not available in and around our area. Even if it is available in Parliament Library, those books can be received for your own personal access through our library. So these are all the IEEE, ASME, AACE, EPSCO, Delnet are the think tanks in the world and they, they are all very much important resource generating and information generating and knowledge generating bodies in the world and you can make use of those journals to the maximum possible extent for your research projects and for your academic activities. So in addition to that we have multimedia collections. We have CD-ROMs, 8,654 CD-ROMs on the VCDs and DVDs to the quantum of 3,562 and we have 455 floppy disks and we have 71 audio cassettes on multiple subject areas and we have NPTEL resources you should know what is NPTEL National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning the video lectures and web courses and live lecture programs of IIT and IISC professors are available and we are having about 1300 video courses and web courses under the uh, NPTEL resources aspect, and these are all available in our uh, library. Uh, so you are most welcome to make use of these resources. And next to which e-learning portal, and we have the course materials written by our uh, faculty members. Uh, we have about 475 uh, uh, course materials, which covers about 50,000 plus pages in our library. So you should know how these course materials can be accessed, where these course materials can be accessed. So these are all the materials that will be accessed in the Internet Library website. In the next two slides, I will explain about that. <laughs> next, you should know the features of our library. So you should know that our library is one of the best library in this part of the country. And many people say that it is one of the best in the country. And many people say this is one of the best in South Asia. And likewise, our library uh, is a renowned library, renowned knowledge center. So you should know as to how it is. So it is renowned in terms of its resources, as we told, 80,000 books, and majority of which are written by foreign authors. And it is the journals and magazines which are highly, it is indexed in highly renowned databases like Scopus, Web of Science. And we have online resources, online journals from highly reputed uh, think tanks and knowledge societies in the world, IEEE, ASME, ASCE, EBSCO, Delnet, and many more. So in addition to that, what type of physical facilities that we have that adds the quality and the ambience of the library uh, to make others to say why well, our library is one of the best. So in this aspect, the physical features are our library is 55,000 square feet, fully air conditioned space in three levels. It is three storied building. Our library has a roof architecture, a very roof, unique roof architecture that allows soft natural light into the building. We can say our library is a uh, green library rather. 
And we have a digital library with provision of 200 systems which have multimedia kit enabled facilities. And you should know that our library is a Wi-Fi library, it is Wi-Fi environment. And you, sh you should know that you have discussion rooms in all the three floors. So discussion rooms are sound free and uh, with the Wi-Fi facility. And you can make use of these discussion rooms for your own personal uh, uh, academic preparation and you can come with your uh, friends or you can come with your uh, mentor or your uh, tutor or your faculty and you can discuss about your uh, academic activities, you can discuss uh, about your uh, replacement preparations, you can discuss about developing your English speaking skills and you can discussions on your uh, uh, placement preparation, soft skills, interpersonal skills and communication skills and what not and you can make use of these library physical uh, features that is physical ambience and physical features for your uh, personality development in a nutshell to say. And uh, yes, I told you our library is of uh, three level. We can go from uh, uh, floor by floor. The first the ground floor, you can see reference section, a very rare out of print, uh, very costly uh, handbooks, like very important quality oriented resources are available in the reference section. And there you can find discussion rooms. There you can find back volumes. Back volumes means the print journals after a year, they are, uh, we led them to a process of binding and those binding volumes are kept as back volumes. These back volumes are, are very much useful to you in your literature uh, review. While you do your project and while you engage in, the engage in the research work, you should know what has been done in that uh, project so far and what has been done in that uh, research work. So for that, these back volumes will be of uh, useful of maximum extent and we will teach you once you come to the library we will teach you how to make use of these back volumes how to make use of those online journals and how to make use of books and journals and everything we will teach you at the library and this uh, the ground floor has a reading area so those books you take from reference section you can read it there in the reading area itself and in the first floor we have opaque area opaque means uh, online public access catalog the computers are available there you can consult these computers to know the availability of a particular research, if it is available, where it is, where it is available, and uh, if it is not available, who has taken the book and when it will be returned to the library. So likewise, those information, you can uh, know by consulting the OPAC computers. Then there is a textbook stack area. In the textbook, you can find about nearly 60,000 books are there stored in the textbook section. And uh, there is a book section reading area in including uh, the textbook area and there is a circulation counter once you take the book you have to come to the circulation counter to get the books be issued so in addition to that you can see periodical section and in the periodical section itself you can find a periodical reading hub so next to the periodical reading hub you can find a periodical circulation counter even you can take periodicals from our library in addition to that circulation of the books there is a reflographic section. You can take photocopies and you can uh, uh, take, uh, you can scan your uh, uh, documents in the library itself. And there is a periodical administration room. In the second floor, we have a librarian room. Uh, librarian, it is me. I am Dr. Rahman, the librarian of uh, Megatron Learning Center. If at all you want to convey some good constructive suggestions for the development of the library, you can come to come to me. I am available in the uh, second floor. And there is the library administrative office, book acquisition section, technical section, digital library. Digital library with about 200 systems are there available in the second floor. And CD ROM stack area, higher education center, and a research scholars room. So these are all the facilities we provide in the second floor of the library. And next to that, there is an intranet uh, OPAC. Everyone, I request you to uh, take down uh, the, uh, the URL that is 172.16.23.15. So it is intranet OPAC throughout the campus. This OPAC is available to know 
as I told you, to search a resource in the library, to search a book in the library, you need not come to library from anywhere in the campus by logging into any of the systems in the campus. By typing the URL 172.16.23.15, you can access the Internet OPAC interface. And using that interface, you can search for the books and you can search for the books, journal, CD, VCD, DVD, floppy, audio, cassette, project reports. And uh, you can you can know the books in your own account, how many books you have taken, when you have taken, and when those books have to be returned. And even you can know uh, the due dates of the book, when you have to return the book to the library. So the circulation details of a particular book, whether a book is an issue or a, if it is uh, to be returned, when it will be returned. And if it is returned in which shelf the book is available. So all those information you can know by accessing the OPAC. So this is how the library OPAC looks like. And you should know for how many period uh, we circulate the books. The students can keep the books with them for 15 days. And the students can keep the periodical, that is journals and magazines, even we lend the periodicals, as I told you. And even we lend the CDs, VCDs, and DVDs. You can keep the periodicals for two days with you. And you can keep the CDs, VCDs, and DVDs with you. Uh, keep them with you for two days. You can get all these resources, books, periodicals, CDs, VCDs, and DVDs. Uh, get these resources be circulated. You can take these resources with you to home or with you to the hostel and you can make use of them and you can return them on the 15th day within the 15 within 15 days within two days and within two days for uh, cds periodicals books respectively and reference section as we told the reference section is one of the very important section in our library very rare resources i told you know very rare resources you can access so what are the rare resources? Encyclopedia, dictionaries, directories, thesaurus, yearbooks, glossaries, syllabi collection, handbooks, map and atlases. Even you can see those books which cost about uh, more than 25,000 to 30,000, a single, single book that costs, that shows the quality of the uh, book's content. So those resources are available in reference section. So even though you are very much keen in uh, learning through uh, your portals, e-learning process, online learning, whatever it may be, please apply your mind into uh, reading of print resources, print books, uh, print encyclopedias, and print textbooks, print reference books, and all. Because the print by reading, when you read the print books, it will give you a creative thought process. So you will apply your mind to dream or to creative thinking, how it should look like. The, the When you read the content, your mind will imagine how uh, the content would be in digital, in visual format. So those type of creative uh, process, creative training, we should give to our mind. In visual contents, in digital contents, the content itself is visually present in front of you. So by seeing that, your brain will come to end that, it will see like this only. So the creative thought process is stopped there. So when you read a print process, print book, so the mind get the process, your brain get the process of imagining it. So the imagining and creative thinking and visualizing process, process of the brain is only possible when you come to library and read those books which are available in print. So this is what very important because a creative students or a creative uh, students community only will become a knowledge society of the country, knowledge society of the society, for the society, and you will be the pillars and the stones in making our society as a knowledge society, as I told you already. So that is why reading habits are important. That too, reading in uh, electronic gadgets, your mobiles, reading in laptops, so these are all not comparable. Uh, rather, when you read that those resources in print, the thought process, thinking process, imagining process, visualizing process of the brain is triggered, and you can attain your the most uh, uh, exciting level of the 
thinking process. So that is why reading habits are very much important. Yeah, you should know about library services. The library offers various services. The lending service, you can take the books from the library, you can return them. Reference service, what I told you so far, it's about reference service, which you can avail in our library. Referography also, I told you, you can get your resources be scanned and you can get your resources uh, be photocopied. Uh, and selective dissemination of information, SDI service. So we give you the selective information to your emails. And there is a current awareness service. Current awareness, what are the current process? What are the current affairs which are happening? Those affairs which are helpful and useful to the student, the library will cut them and uh, send it to your uh, email or it will be available in many of the formats available in the library. You can by visiting the library access these SDA service or current awareness service. And in addition to that, we do newspaper clippings and interlibrary loan services. And uh, we provide you uh, the ebooks and e-journals access and we help you for your career and placement aids. And as I told you, the internet website, already I told you about this, please make uh, note it down, the internet library URL. There are two internet library websites, please take down the URLs, 172.16.23.23 and 172.16.23.25. So these internet library websites give you all services rendered by library. So through which you can access the digital library collection, that is ebooks, e-journals, knowledge portal, and many more resources you can access using these intranet library website. And there is a link provided to the OPAC. So it is a web OPAC. You can access these resources from anywhere in the campus. So as I told you, online resources are available. And even you may know which are the newly arrived resources at the library. And there are many more uh, online links for scholarly resources are given uh, through this internet library website. So this internet library website, you can log in by using the URLs anywhere in the thousands of systems available throughout the campus, anywhere in the campus, even in your lab. You can access this internet library websites. So this is how the internet library website uh, looks like. So again, I emphasize internet library website URL is 172.16.23.25. The OPAC site is searching for the books resources 172.16.23.15. And for additional information, you can refer the digital library with the, the URL 172.16.23.23. And best user awards, so you should be aware of that, the library is giving away best library user awards once in a year during the annual day to the students and faculty. See, why these best library user awards are given away? In order to motivate you, so the library is having one of the best ambience in the country, the library is having one of the best resources the library's architecture is the best and everything in the library is the best. So library is the best knowledge center. So whatever the best we have without any utilization that becomes nothing. So in order to make the students community and the faculty, so both of you are the stakeholders of the library, in order to motivate you, in order to give enthusiasm, in order to create interest among yourself to make use of the library to the maximum possible extent, for what? In order to develop your, your skills, in order to develop your academic capacity, in order to develop your vocabulary, in order to develop you in all the forms. Using the library is very important. So to make you, to make, to use the library continuously, we uh, establish the best library user awards. And I strongly hope that every one of you in the future from today onwards, you will visit the library number of times and you will use the resources. In addition to using the resources, we welcome you to give constructive suggestions for the development of the resources, for the development of the library, uh, for the easiness 
any any more easiness process that you require so you can come to me and you can uh, give your constructive suggestions and using which we will develop the library that will suit to that even the next generation so on why how we measure a good user a good user is measured by point one number of times you visit the library there is a system provided in the in front of the library in the, in the reception whenever you visit the library you should enter your uh, uh, role number whenever you exit the library you should do that so number of counts we take in a year and number two number of times you take the books from the library and three number of times you make use of the periodical section you make use of the uh, CD section, you make use of the digital library that all the online journals and magazines I told you know so to how possibility how how best you make use of these resources and how you come to us to give you a suggestions and all. So based on these criteria we identify best library users who will be given uh, awards rewards in the annual day. So I hope strongly not only one but every one of you who will compete to get the best library user awards. It's not it. So have it as a uh, oath today that you are giving a, a oath to the library that to the college that you will. You as a perfect human being uh, in the forms of intellectuality, in the forms of uh, uh, the best human being in short, in a nutshell. So I really thank you, uh, my friends, for uh, uh, patiently hearing uh, my talk uh, in, in these uh, little hours. And we are waiting for you. Though it is a little time that we talk, we are waiting uh, for you to come to the library that we will uh, teach you in accessing uh, the knowledge resources and how to increase your knowledge level and how to constructively convert those information knowledge you take from the library uh, into the the best uh, efforts for your entire life. Thank you, students. Thank you, Vanita.